Hi, it's March 8th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm Mike Stanton here with Grant Dewey from BAM's Capital Market Sets. Grant, thanks for taking some time today. Thank you. Economic data day today. The uh, February unemployment report dropped this morning. Uh, got some really interesting information in, uh, for the economy, not just for February, but for the whole uh, year to date in recent times. What did you learn? We saw big downward revisions uh, to the kind of red hot January employment report uh, this morning. So that was a revision downward from 353,000 uh, new jobs uh, in January to just 229,000. So that comes much more in line. Um, and really probably upstaged the February number, which was uh, slightly above expectations at 275,000. But uh, I think, you know, it sort of returned thinking on to the track that we were prior to January, um, where, uh, um, you know, where I think the Fed, you know, still has room to cut, but they're not in any rush to cut. Um, another part of the report this morning was average hour, hourly earnings came in um, at just 0.1% month over month. That was below uh, expectations. And there was also a downward revision to January. So, you know, all in all, pretty bullish uh, report. Uh, I think it uh, puts the, you know, the, the soft landing scenario back um, into the consensus and, and definitely took the edge off the, off the January numbers. Um, I think, uh, you know, we got through uh, about eight and a half billion of supply this week. The market absorbed it well. Uh, actually, this morning, um, you know, give, despite the bullish report, Treasuries ten years pretty flat. Um, we came into this morning uh, with um, you know t the ten year rallied about twenty basis points for the week. So I do think the market was kind of set up for for good news this morning. Not very well set up uh, had that number um, been worse. So. Uh, it, uh, so next week, looking forward, we've got about 10, over 10 billion, 10 and a half billion or so uh, in new supply. Uh, probably the highlighted deal is a big uh, deal for uh, Common Spirit uh, Health, which is a large system across 24 states. And um, that will be, uh, I think uh, they were talking about 1.8 billion in taxables uh, and then another uh, billion or so in, in tax exempts. Um, and the, when that transaction comes in, Grant, it's going to meet with uh, some pretty good demand on, on, on the demand side. We saw from Lipper this week uh, over 800, almost $900 million of uh, inflows to muni bond mutual funds, which are the strongest in, in several weeks. So, again, you're starting to see that retail demand coming around. The muni uh, curves were pretty flat this week, uh, despite the Treasury rally, again, reflecting the fact that, as we were expecting, supply has been higher really from those larger transactions, right? Uh, absolutely. There's... You know, tax exempt issuance year to date is, uh, is is 60 billion, so very strong for January and February. Uh, taxable issuance has been down; it's running at uh, less than half of its three-year uh, average. And and uh, in addition to that, you've had a lot of taxable uh, last year. There were a lot of tenders for taxable issuance, which uh, took a lot of supply out of the market. And and this year, you're starting to see some bad refundings, which. Um, uh, uh, we've seen two of them go through. There's potentially a lot of those deals. Those are uh, Build America bonds that are being refunded, which are taxable, and they're being refunded with tax exempt uh, debt. So I think that's uh, you know good news for a lot of the funds, uh, a lot of the muni funds that uh, have, have really had trouble finding bonds. So there's some great points you make about the taxable market grant. Um, certainly in the long term, it's a, it's an interesting question. See if tax, taxable investors will still be standing up for muni in, in issuers when the uh, supply is there. But right now, obviously, the supply is in the tax exempt market, and that's where issuers are getting the best rates. So hard to say that uh, they should be planning anything differently. Um, looking back at this past week, as you mentioned, a really heavy week, very concentrated in larger transactions. We saw more than a billion dollars each from the New York City uh, Municipal Water Finance Authority. You also saw it from uh, the University of California. That was one of those bad refundings. Uh, so large activity there. On the BAM insured side, one standout deal was $76 million for the Davenport Community School District in Iowa. That was a competitive deal purchased by Morgan Stanley. And looking ahead to this uh, coming week, uh, the total supply calendar, I think, goes up again. Uh, on the BAM side, again, we're going to be expecting mostly uh, competitive transactions. We'll keep an eye on the, the market as it goes forward. So thanks again for your time uh, this week, Grant. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Mike.